Hey, Thor, you're in the frame too. Hey guys, take care. Back again with another uh, excellent quote by our President Joe Biden. Let's take a look. The idea, the idea we still allow semi-automatic weapons to be purchased is sick. It's just sick. It has no, no social redeeming value. Zero, none. Not a single solitary rationale for it except profit for the gun manufacturer. Can you do anything about gun laws during the lame duck, sir? I'm going to try. You didn't say that. Tell me you did not just say that. Uh-oh. So, listen, Biden has made it very, very clear over the past couple of years and, what, his whole entire Senate career that he is not for guns, period. And the whole claim he made that when he became president that I'm going to unify us once again was complete and utter bullshit and this is proving it. Because as soon as he said that, then he started going after the guns. So, hey, I'm going to unify us all as long as you are blue, as long as you are Democrat. This should be scary because since probably Beto's, uh, Beto O'Rourke, if you don't know who that is, this guy that ran for president in the same election the Biden one. Uh, and just recently ran for governor of Texas and lost epically. Uh, he kind of backed out of the presidential run because his dumbass stated outright that hell yeah, we're going to take your AR-15s and hell yeah, we're going to take your AKs. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. Listen, everyone in the nation smartened up as soon as that guy said it and said, fuck you. It's time to do that again. Like this guy is, in pre is a president now, so it's going to be a little harder to make him go away obviously, but you know, 2024 is coming up. You have your options, Trump, DeSantis, and who knows who else is gonna come out to uh, run for presidency and don't vote for Biden. Like no shit, because if it wasn't for the fact that the Senate is narrowly controlled by the Republicans right now, uh, y you can guarantee you that within this lame duck session, which he was asked uh, in this lame duck session if he can do anything about it or if he's planning on doing anything about it. And he said he's going to try. Two weeks, guys. Uh, lame duck session is this two week period between uh, the midterms and when Congress basically goes, takes their two week winter vacation for the rest of the year. So he has those two weeks. And then once they resume session, um, those new Republicans that just got voted in take office. So he's going to try, he says. He's gonna try and come for your AR-15s. He's gonna try and come for your anything semi-automatic weapons. See, that's all he said. Semi-automatic weapons, so that could be fucking anything. That could be anything. And let's just take the example here in Washington State of what they determine as an assault weapon. That is literally any rifle that runs semi-auto doesn't matter about magazine size or detachable or non-detachable magazines or anything. If it runs semi-auto, it's an assault weapon here. Yeah, your Ruger 1022, if you know what that is, your little semi-auto can shooter, that's an assault weapon. Granddaddy's M1 Grand, that's an assault weapon. SKSs, you know, uh, what do they call that these days? The uh, Boomer's FUD rifle? <laughs> That's an assault weapon now in Washington state. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, look up initiative 1639, read all about it and the bullshit we have to go through there. I can do a video on that as well if you want me to. Until then, uh, this is uh, what's going on. Uh, there's statements all over Twitter. There's a uh, typed out transcript of the same interview. There's ones going around of him further getting into it. Uh, his White House Thanksgiving address was pretty much the same thing that he wants to a ban, outright ban, assault weapons. So get ready, contact your senators, contact your Congress people, all of them. Representatives, Congress is both. I know my words. Anyway, subscribe for more videos, shooting on the way. Hopefully I can do some videos on some better news sometime. Hope you enjoyed the kitty though. He decided he didn't like the video recording. So anyway, see you guys later.